Hello and welcome to Droix. In this video we will be comparing the two GBD Win3 models which have the i5 and i7 processors. We will be running some benchmarks using software and games to see the differences in performance of the models. If you want to watch our unboxing and demo of the GBD Win3 video you can check it out linked in the description. The differences between the two models are essentially down to the processor and integrated graphics, so we will first take a look at those. The i5 processor is the 1135G7 version, which is a quad core with 8 threads running up to 4.2GHz. The i7 processor is the 1165G7 version, which also has quad core with 8 threads but runs up to a faster 4.7 GHz. Both models have the 12th generation Iris XE graphics running up to 1.3 GHz. The i5 has 80 execution units and the i7 has more with 96. Execution units perform the operations and calculations as instructed by the computer program, so the more the better. The remainder of the GBD Win3 components are essentially the same as each other in terms of RAM, storage and other parts. For the following benchmarks we will be running the GBD Win3 at its default resolution which is 1280 by 720p unless stated. We have updated Windows and all drivers to the latest possible versions and have made any other changes to both devices as closely as possible. We have not overclocked either device to ensure there is a fair comparison for an average user. To keep it fair, we have run each benchmark once and unless there was an issue, we have used those results. We will start first with some benchmarking software that will give a direct comparison between the two models. Passmark requires a minimum resolution of 1080p for it to run fully. So, for this test, we are using this resolution on both devices. Passmark gives a good general overview of the main components of a PC, including processor, graphics, memory and disk speed. With this, we can get an overview of the differences between the two models in general. The i5 scores an overall 3555. The i7 scores 3,823. This gives an overall difference of around 7%. We can see from the individual tests that the i7 beats the i5 in every test, with percentage difference ranging from 1 to 13%. A 7% difference may not seem much, but this does mean software will open that little bit faster or data such as games or large files will be read and saved faster for example. Next we move on to PCMark which is a great piece of software for benching day to day tasks with everything from general web browsing, office documents, media playing, video conferencing and photo editing. Although the GPD Win3 is primarily a gaming handheld, you can use the docking station to connect it to a TV or monitor and turn it into a powerful desktop mini PC. This is ideal for working at home or even gaming on a larger screen. As an introductory bonus, Droix customers will also receive a free GPD Win3 docking station and carry case. Please do check the website for availability as there is limited stock. The Win3 i5 scores an overall 4,563. The i7 scores a higher 5,013. This gives an overall difference of around 9.3%. Looking over the individual tests, we can again see noticeable differences in the results. For example, there is a 14% difference in software loading times, meaning software in general will open faster on the i7 than it would on the i5. For day-to-day -day tasks, both models are very good, 
but the i7 does have a good increase in overall performance. 3 Mark runs benchmarks on the processor and graphics processor in a few different ways. This will give us a good indication of how games in general will perform. In the past, having a great graphics processor for games was essential for gaming, but we are now seeing that games such as Forza and Flight Simulator also require multi-core and thread processors for the processing. Both the Intel i5 and i7 are the latest generation processors, so we can get a great indication of the performance. The i5 scores an impressive 1543. The i7 scores an even more impressive 1766. This gives an overall score difference of around 13.4%. Both are great scores for the Intel Iris Xe graphics, but there is a good difference in the performance due to the extra clock speed of the i7 processor, although for some reason it reported lower than the i5 in the results. The extra execution units found on the i7 help with that extra boost in performance. We will now compare a few games to see real world gaming performance between the two devices. We start with a Total War Saga Troy, a great turn based strategy game if you have not already played it. Using the built in benchmark software I have set the graphics settings for both models to Ultra. While the game will not run at full speed on Ultra, we can compare the performance while the GPD Win 3 is under full load. The i5 has an average frames per second of 18.1. The i7 scores an average of 19.9 frames per second. This gives a difference in frames per second of around 9.5%. While it is essentially just one frame per second difference, which may not seem a great deal, it is while the Win3 is under full load and a 10% difference in performance. Grand Theft Auto 5 is a popular game and one that was not very playable on previous GPD Win models unless you made a lot of tweaks and mods. The GPD Win 3 runs Grand Theft Auto 5 very well and I spent a bit of time with the graphics settings to get a nice balance of visual and performance in order to get around 60 frames per second with occasional dips now and again. Both devices have the exact same settings. The benchmark for GTA 5 can vary a little in some scenes, there may be for example more clouds, random NPC and vehicles each time you run the benchmark. So we cannot do a like for like benchmark, but you do get a great look at the overall performance of both devices in similar scenarios. The built-in benchmark for Forza Horizon 4 is great as it gives a breakdown of all the information. For this benchmark I have changed the graphics settings to the default Ultra with a frames per second target of 60. While the GPD Win 3 can run Horizon 4 at a mix of medium and high settings, it is not quite powerful enough to run at full ultra settings at 60 frames per second, but we can see the performance under high load. The i5 reaches an average of 35 frames per second. The i7 has an average of 40 frames per second. This gives a frames per second difference of around 13.3%. Looking at the breakdown, you can see the differences in the minimum and maximum scores for both CPU and GPU. There is also a noticeable difference in stutter count of 26 for the i5 and only 10 for the i7. This helps a lot as you will have an overall smoother gameplay experience on the i7 compared to the i5. Now time to sum everything up to see the difference in performance across the tests we run. We have not included GTA 5 as it is not a fully accurate test. Pass mark saw a difference of around 7.2% in benchmarking CPU, GPU, memory and disk speed. PC mark saw a difference of around 9.3% in benchmarking day-to-day -day tasks such as web browsing, 
using Office Software, Video Conferencing and Software Loading Speed. 3D Mark has a difference of around 13.4% while testing gaming performance on the CPU and GPU. A Total War Saga Try has a difference of around 9.5% with default ultra graphics settings. Forza Horizon 4 has a difference of 13.3%, again with the default ultra graphics settings. In terms of cost, the GPD Win 3 is, at the time of making this video, available at Droix in both i5 and i7 configurations for $849.95 and $999.95 respectively. That's around 16.2% difference. Whichever model of GPD Win 3 you get, you can be sure it is a great gaming and emulation handheld. The Intel Core i5 and i7 processors with the fast Intel Iris graphics are an excellent combination to provide high performance for your gaming needs. The i7, however, does have the faster processor and graphics, which see a respectable difference over the i5, which will result in more frames per second and smoother gameplay. That wraps up this GPD Win 3 model comparison video. We hope you have found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe to keep up to date on future new products from Joix. Don't forget to check out our Win 3 unboxing and demo video if you have not already. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in our next video.